What's good, YouTube? It's Tim Meyer here. The craziest result just happened from, from a lawsuit that started, I think, over a year ago. So I don't know if you guys all remember the whole Megan Hall, the Tennessee cop that was uh, serving the department more than the community. Yeah, her lawsuit just finished. Let's let's watch the interview because uh, I want to make sure we're all on the same page here and we get that full, full recap, especially how the news just tried to tailor it to sound totally different from what really happened. Shocking findings of sexual misconduct rocked the Laverne Police Department. Five officers and the police chief all fired. One of those officers, Megan Hall, became the face of the scandal and the target of nationwide ridicule, and she's now filed a federal lawsuit. Tonight, in an exclusive interview with our Nick Barris, Hall describes a toxic workplace behind closed doors and how sexual misconduct spiraled out of control. Megan Hall was 24 years old when she was hired as an officer here at the Laverne Police Department two years ago. Her plan was to have a career in law enforcement. She now knows that dream is likely over. I remember while interviewing for the position at Laverne Police Department, they described the environment as a family. However, while I was aspiring to protect my community, the Laverne Police Department was not protecting me. By now, most of the country knows what happened. Hall, four other officers, and the police chief were fired last month. This after two separate investigations found that Hall engaged in sexual activity and or shared intimate photos and videos with several male officers. The chief and two sergeants were among those implicated. Now Hall and her attorney, Wesley Clark, are suing those three supervisors and the city in federal court for civil rights violations. Megan wasn't looked at like a rookie cop to be trained and promoted. She was looked at as a piece of meat to be sexualized and exploited. Since the story broke, Hall, the lone female officer fired and only woman on the second shift, became a target nationwide for sexual jokes and taunting. I received harassing and threatening messages on my phone daily. I felt like I had been terrorized. And yes, now she is suing. No criminal charges have been filed in the case. Hall knows there are those who will say she was a consenting adult who willingly participated in sexual antics in violation of police department policy, and that now she wants to blame others, including one sergeant who targeted her early on. I know what most people are saying. You know, you could have said no. I get it. But my response to them is that I did say no, and he wouldn't take it for an answer. Eventually, I gave in from pressure. So it's not as easy to say she could have just said no. She did say no on several occasions. Miss Hall tried to get out of this relationship, and she was not allowed to. Hall concedes she participated under duress. She's not saying she was raped, but adds that the salacious details made public of sex on the job put her alone center stage and do not tell the whole story. They isolated me. They shunned me. They accused me, and they blamed me for becoming a victim. Hall suffered from depression to the point of considering suicide, and at one point was hospitalized. She felt trapped. My supervisors worked together to take advantage of my vulnerabilities and my mental health, and they used it for their gain and sexual pleasure. And that included the police chief, Chip Davis. The independent investigation found he was aware of what was going on and even received intimate photos and videos of Hall. Who do you even turn to when the chief of police is sexually harassing you? How could I get justice when the entire system, including the chief, not only condoned such behavior, but participated in it? I was lost and I felt alone. I had no one to turn to, and I had nowhere to go. Hall now realizes her career in law enforcement is likely over, and she knows those ugly memes on social media will remain forever, her reputation sullied. No woman should ever have to endure this type of abuse. What happened to me during my employment at Laverne's Police Department 
it should never happen to anyone. Hall now hopes to put what happened to her here at the Laverne PD behind her. She is married and says she has a strong family support system and says that it was her faith that helped carry her through the turmoil. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Nick, thank you. Hall's federal lawsuit names two supervising sergeants, the police chief and the city of Laverne. The city has not responded to the lawsuit. All right, so I wanted, I was, I was watching the video and I was looking through the comments and uh, this, this comment really stood out to me. Abdullah Jester 9798, this man said, Officer shot multiple times in the face, mouth, chest, and upper thighs, but stood up and served the <laughs> served the country. What a legend she is! Yeah, this this man is unhinged. I, I'm sorry, I just read that comment and it, it it really brought together just the silliness of how the department and the justice system interpreted this versus how everyone else can see what really happened. It is just this guy. This guy's funny. All right, but all jokes aside, uh, let's get to the lawsuit details. So I just searched up the lawsuit. I didn't read the actual. Um, I'm not gonna actually be reading off the true court documents. I'm just gonna give the summary here. Um, it's coming from the news. So if it's tailored in any type of way, or you feel like it's biased, it is what it is. But it says, uh. Hall filed the lawsuit in February of 2023 against the city, two former sergeants and the former chief of police. She had four other officers. She and four other officers were fired in January of 2023 for allegedly having sex on duty. Sounds consensual to me. Sending nude photos of each other. Sounds consensual to me. Not disclosing their relationships. Uh, her husband got screwed. Or I believe it's her husband or her boyfriend. Um... Yeah, she was uh she was going to Pound Town and doing all this. And uh I don't think her husband really knew about that, but even after he did find out, he still stayed with her. But besides the point. And then the worst part as a uh as a duty officer, lying during an HR investigation. I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh if she's lying during the HR investigation. Why the hell should any of us believe her when she says she was a victim? She was a a non-consenting party. She was doing this against her will. Like, come on. I don't think I don't think anyone's fallen for the uh for the for the the I'm innocent shtick on this one, buddy. I don't I don't think anyone's fallen for it. But I'll be damned. Someone did fall for it. Megan Hall, former officer of Center of El Vergne, I think, sex scandal reaches 500K settlement after dismissing lawsuit. So it looks like everyone in public knowledge could see through the, the bullshit, quite frankly, except for the court of law. She can lie, she can do whatever, and she gets 500K. But I know plenty of other situations where people have actually had bad stuff happen to them and they get nothing. So this is a huge L for the justice system. Um, yeah, I don't I don't even know what to say, man. Like this is this is just disappointing. It's really disappointing to see that uh, she can go out, you know, take a couple shots, per se. And uh yeah, we're just supposed to believe her and she's the victim and she did nothing wrong. Even though we have all the evidence and she's also been proven as a liar per the HR investigation. But, you know, that's just that's just how it goes. I just wanted to uh, bring light to this huge L in this wrap up to this case. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Catch you later.